Hi everyone, Nearly Kuti here from Discovery Academy. Long time no see, and so uh, first of all I want to apologize for that, and second of all I want to greet you all with Shana Tova. This is the beginning of the new Jewish year, according to the Jewish calendar. Um, today I want us to work a bit on the verbs, uh, or the verb, um, to have. Okay. We will focus today on two pronouns, he and she, just to make things um, easier and just kind of um, make the, or some sort of simplifying the whole uh, process. So what I basically did is I took a simple picture and what we will do is we will analyze this picture. I will try to use as much Hebrew as possible and to really just minimize the English uh, just for us to really get into the language and understand it as much as, as possible. Um, later on I will go to kind of, kind of key points and we will go through them and we'll explain words that I think may be um, hard to understand so let's get into it so in this picture that we have okay right here we see girl yalda and a boy yelled yalda ve yelled so in hebrew in order to indicate the verb to have we will use yesh. Yesh. That's the verb that we will use. Yesh. Now, the second thing is to indicate the uh, the pronoun, the person, okay, that is having what we want to describe. And so, what we will say is to him or to her or to me. Okay, literally what I'm using is to, to something, okay? To me, um, to me, for me, uh, to him, to her. So to her, her in Hebrew is la, la. To him, lo, lo. Now the sounds, later on we will examine this, but the sounds of a and o, are really very common um, in, in, in Hebrew in, you know, in indicating the pronouns of um, him and her. Uh, same thing as for me, li, for example. Li means to me. This e that you hear at the end is um, simply an indicator that it is something has to do with me, belongs to me. So uh, let's 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 get started, and, and hopefully you will you will get the idea. So I want to start with the little boy, Yeled, Yeled, and let's examine what he has. Ma yesh lo, ma yesh lo, la Yeled yesh. Chulza, Nachon, Yeshlo, Chulza, Chulza, Im Kaftorim, Chulza, Im Kaftorim, Yeshlo, Gam, Michnasaim. Nichnasaim Az Yeshlo Chulza Vegam Nichnasaim Yeshlo Gam Sandalim Sandalim Hine Sandal Echad Vehine 
עוד סנדל. ביחד סנדלים. יש לו סנדלים. שני סנדלים. אז לילד יש חולצה עם כפתורים, נכון, יש לו מכנסיים ויש לו סנדלים. Well ועכשיו לילדה. ילדה. לילדה יש שמלה. שמלה. לילדה יש שמלה. באיזה צבע השמלה? בצבע כחול. השמלה בצבע כחול. יש לה תיק. תיק. לילדה יש תיק. יש לה שמלה בצבע כחול ויש לה תיק. שמלה ותיק. יש לה נעליים. נעל אחת, והנה עוד נעל. יש לה נעליים. שתי נעליים. יש לה שמלה כחולה, תיק ונעליים. אוקיי, okay, well done, well done, well done, אוקיי. Okay. Uh, as promised, we will try to make it as simple as possible. So let's go uh, through some of the things that we've covered. So the first thing, let's start with a little boy and how do we say a little boy or a kid? Yeled. That's right. Well done. Yeled. Yeled. And so we said that la yeled, la, la indicates to the. This a that you hear is the definitive. La means to the. La yeled. To the kid. La yeled yesh. יש, that's the verb, יש חולצה. So, he has what? Shirt, well done. חולצה. חולצה. יש לו מכנסיים. Pants, well done. Now, this is a general uh, word for pants, okay? Uh, this is not something that... We can, obviously, we can also use, um, we do have a word for short pants, but uh, once again, we want to simplify the whole thing. And so for now, we will simply use pants. Michnasain. So, chulza. Michnasain. Now we had another word for, what's this? Sandals. How do we say sandals? Sandalim. Well done. Sandalim. Chulza. Michnasaim. Sandalim. Chulza. Michnasaim. Sandalim. Well done. La yeled to the kid. Okay, literally to the kid. יש חולצה, מכנסיים, סנדלים. Now, 
very short something that I do want to say about the whole La in Le. And this is something that I want just want to uh, be clear about because I get tons of questions about this one. So the main difference between this A uh, and E sound that we're kind of keep hearing, same thing go with the um, Ba and B, right? The preposition Ba and B, uh, which is in or at. It's simply the definitive version of it, the specific version of it. So if I'm using la, that will be to the. If I'm using le, that will simply be like a general statement. As if I'm saying to a kid, any kid for that matter, okay? Not a specific one. Now, obviously in this case, we do talk about a specific kid. Uh, and so we will use the definitive form, okay? so. La Yelid. Check. Let's go on to the small girl. Yalda. Yalda. Zu Yalda. La Yalda. Yesh. You should know this one by now. Simla. Kula. Simla. Kula, blue dress. Well done, blue dress. La yalda yesh simla kula ve tik ve tik and bag. Okay, and a bag. Also, tik can be uh, like a, a backpack. Okay, if you go to school. Or okay, any bag for that matter, um, we we can use as 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 tick. Um, well done. So simlakula, tick, ve, na alaim, na alaim, shoes, shoes. Okay, your turn. Let's start with the kid. So you tell me, ma. Yesh la yalda. Ma yesh la yalda. La yalda yesh. What's the first thing? Well done. Simla kula. Simla kula. La yalda yesh. Tik. Tik. La yalda yesh na alaim na alaim la yeled yesh khulsa la yeled yesh mikhnasaim la yeled yesh sandalim sandalim So, simla, chulza, tik, na'alaim, ve, sandalim. Obviously, there are more to, to, to this picture. Uh, and there's much more things to indicate, such as michnas and michnasaim, and the fact that the, the, the aim, the sound of aim that you hear at the end, it, it refers to, uh, uh, to pair. But... Again, in order to just to kind of simplify the whole thing and to keep it simple uh, for you to uh, understand and to remember, uh, we try to keep the details to the uh, minimum uh, required. I hope you guys had a great time, at least as much as I had. And I, uh, this is just a, a quick reminder that uh, we're meeting every single Sunday and uh, we're learning and we have an entire conversation in Hebrew. We learn different things, different topics, different subjects uh, every, every single Sunday. Sometimes uh, it is uh, twice a week. Really the, the, the key here, either that's a learning group, a movie, music, YouTube tutorial, whatever it is, make sure that your environment is Hebrew supporting that's like a hebrew supporting environment 
uh, that's the, that's that's crucial because your brain you know it will take your brain some time to actually activate and apply and you know do like do the whole process until you will finally be able to use these things as as part of an actual sentence and you know and reuse them again until it becomes you know uh, part of a habit so in any case um yeah i just want to uh to make sure that if you have any questions you know comment below and i'll make my best to uh to reply and answer all the questions make sure to hit that subscribe to like uh, to share and hit that bell button to make sure to get all the uh, notifications and I'll see you guys soon